much for going out the window. Uh, <laughs> throw something. Break it. Get some air. I can't. My arm. The great Taya Delgado. Never met a case. She couldn't win. Face it. We're gonna. We're gonna die. No. We're well, not. Look at that. Look at that. That's gas. Gas seeping into a sealed basement is hopeless. We're gonna, no, we're gonna die. No, here. we're not. We're gonna get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> what? My law degree? No. John. John's gonna find us and he's gonna save us. You're doing good, Jack. I just, I just need you to think, all right, buddy? I mean, can you remember anything that, that Pal or Rebecca said? I don't know. What about maybe something that they did, you know? Even if it doesn't seem important, it might help us find your mom and dad. I don't know. Jack, you're safe now. That's right. All right, no one is going to hurt you or your sister or Sam. Yeah, you did a really great job with them, Jack. You took great care of them. I thought they were here to help us. Pal? He was just as an ambulance guy, and she was just as a doctor. Okay. So you thought they were here to help your mom and dad? But they weren't here to help us. They were here to hurt everyone. Chloe? Chloe? I think you need to leave, Bertie. I'll go when Jessica tells me to. I'm getting the feeling she might need me. Mia, yeah, why are you two so nervous? Huh? Why do you have to wake up Jessica's mother before you tell your sister what's going on? It's none of your concern. Oh, my God! Doing with that baby? Answer her. Well, maybe she's mine. She's not. She's Chloe Brennan. How do you know? Paolo, what are you doing? Why do you have Jessica's baby? What? What makes you think this is Jessica's baby? Sorry, no, we looked everywhere. No, Can I can't imagine what happened? Maybe one of the staff took No, from no, the nobody would do that. Nobody would do that. Okay. We checked with the kitchen and the staff quarters. No one's seen her since she went to bed. Well, how did this happen? Jess, no one's seen her. Look, did did any of you here see anything unusual or, or hear anything? No, no one's seen anything suspicious. What do you mean suspicious, darling? What, what are you saying that somebody broke into this house and kidnapped my baby? Honey, I'm gonna call your father. I'm gonna call Trina. I'll call 911. Oh, We know what Jessica's baby looks like, pal. Yeah, we both know. Because you've both seen her before, and someone told you to call her Chloe. Yes, that's her name. A rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Look at that. I can still remember some Shakespeare. You know, being back here on campus again is making What are you babbling about? about? Scholarly. Well, someone can make up a name. They can make up a whole new identity, but what am I telling you that for? You know all about that. All those months you lived with him, he never told you who he really was. He just told you that he loved you. He told you so much you thought it was the truth. But the truth has always been right here in this room. He raped you. Stop it! What 
What does it have to do with this baby? Someone gave this baby a name. Someone gave her a whole new identity. But the truth is right in this room. Yes, okay, we heard that before. Is this the game you want to play? Her name? Okay, so you don't think it's Jessica's baby. Who do you think she is? Why don't you tell me? Can you guess who her real parents are? I wish my mom and dad were here. I know, me too. Well, I'm almost done here. Just try to remember, Jack. Did Pal or Rebecca make any phone calls? Did they say where they might be going? All right. Thanks for all your help, buddy. He doesn't know how they knocked out my parents. It's probably the same thing they did to me. That you got knocked out? And it was an empty envelope. And it was treated with some kind of drug. But you're okay, right? I still feel it in my system, but I'm fine. There was an envelope here, too. There was? The lady, Rebecca, she called it an, an invitation. What else did she say, Jack? She told the man to get rid of it. It might hurt them. They gave you all the same envelopes? I didn't... I didn't get an invitation. An invitation to what? Wait a second. Today's date. KAD, it all kind of makes sense. What makes sense? That spring flag. Oh, my God. John. <laughs> He's gonna save us. Oh, sure. No, he said John was going to escape killer. Prisoner. You really think he's gonna? Sure, sure, but with no clues, no witnesses, and no help, you think he's gonna figure out where we are? Yes, I do. <laughs> That's true because I'm not gonna die like this without you. Is any consolation? I never pictured you on my deathbed either. <gasps> no, 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 you don't get to complain. Excuse me. No, if. If you hadn't defended Todd, he'd be behind bars. Oh, this would have happened. That yeah, mental patient goes on a murdering rampage, and it's my fault. Oh, as if I didn't hate you enough already. <sighs> you know, <laughs> I'm curious about something. I see a scene and say we're gonna die in here know, together I'm anyway. Tell you who my hair color is. Besides, I'm a natural blonde. We have a lot in common, Blair. Oh, don't make me peace. It's true. We're both strong, smart women who don't take anything from anybody. I'll give you that. Under different circumstances, we might even be friends. Don't push your luck. That's what I'm talking about. Here we are, about to die. And you're wasting your last breath insulting me. What? Why is that, Blair? Huh? Why do you hate me so much? Huh? You're insane, pal. Because I can tell you who this baby really is? I can think of a few other reasons at this point. <clears throat> Why are you so afraid of the truth? We know what the truth is. We know who that baby is. And if you touch one hair on her head, I swear to God, I'm going to kill you. No, 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 I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. You're not going to hurt her, right? Why are you so interested in protecting this little girl? I, how? It's almost like a natural instinct or something. Why do you have her? What are you going to do? You haven't been listening, have you? I don't have to. I know who she is. She's my niece's kid, my sister's granddaughter. That's what you believe. No, that's what I know. And I also know this. If you don't put her down right now, I swear to God. She's not your sister's granddaughter. She's yours. Yours and Marty's. John. You think Powell's trying to recreate the spring fling? It's possible. And why would he take Tay and Blair? I don't know. He would just need my mom and, and, and Todd. Yeah, look, it doesn't make any sense, but we got to consider the possibilities trying to recreate the night that your mom was. I can't believe this. Listen to me. Hey, 
Be cool. I'm gonna find her. Okay? Jack, thanks for all your help, buddy, okay? Wait, you're leaving? Fish has got a squad car coming over here. You'll be safe here tonight. Well, where are you going? Lanvia University. They boarded up the old KED house a long time ago. Yeah, but the new one's all the way across campus. Then I'll start with the old one, all right? Take care of yourselves. Cole, lock the door behind me, okay? I've got every available cop in the department working this. And after Clint called, I issued an Amber Alert. So Chloe is now publicly missing. If somebody took her, this is our best shot at making sure they don't get too far. Well, that's all we have, Bo. We've looked everywhere. Here, the grounds and the house, yeah. everywhere. We've talked to all the staff. No one's seen anything. Okay. All right. I want every square inch of this place covered. Set up a perimeter. I want you to make sure nobody leaves this property unless we've talked to them, okay? And then question the staff twice. Okay, yes. Oh, you have to find her. We will, we will, I promise. Uh, I need you to tell me everything that happened in that. Okay. Chloe was crying, so I went upstairs to go and check on her, and, uh, and, and then I was able to get her back to sleep. Okay, that was up in the nursery? And then, and then I came back down with Brody, and then Natalie and, and Jared came home. Okay. And Natalie and Jared came home, and... And then I went upstairs to check on her, and when I was there, the crib was empty. Okay, honey, listen. Can you think of anyone who might want to frighten you? No. Anyone who is angry with you or with the uh, family? Is this about money? I don't know. Well, if it's about money, then we can just give them the ransom and then they'll give Chloe back to me, Jess, right? we're going to look at every angle, okay? Now, can you think of anyone who, had, who would have anything at all to gain by taking Chloe from you? No, there's no one. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Who would it be? Why don't you take me up to the nursery, all right? And oh. Maybe you'll see something that can jog okay. your memory. Okay. I'll come with you. Yeah, I'll take another look around now. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, I hope not. Could Kyle Lewis have done this? You've got even more screws loose than I thought, pal. My granddaughter died. You sure of that? Are you trying to tell me that Jessica's been lying all the time? Letting my daughter believe her baby died? <laughs> Jessica believes this is her baby. She doesn't have to lie. But neither does DNA. What are you saying? I'm saying this is Cole's baby. And stars. Enough. I've heard enough. We have to get that baby back to Jessica. <laughs> it's not hers. I don't care. Jessica's probably going out of her mind right now. That's the first thing you got right all night, Manning. My little cousin's going out of her mind, all right. Because the best I can put together is the night she had the baby. It died. What? And one of her other personalities took over, and she traded the dead baby, hers, for this live one. <laughs> your mutual grandchild. They were born the same night. And Todd's crazy little niece decided to take advantage of the situation. She's not crazy. That's right. You were planning a little switch with this baby yourself, weren't you? Trading in your miserable life as a rapist to ride off into the sunset with Marty. You don't know anything about that. Mm, I know. I left out the best part. You were gonna let your own daughter think that her baby was dead. Looks like you're the one who's insane. Yeah, look who's talking. Yeah, I guess it runs in the family. Victor and Pal Sr. spawned a whole new generation of nuts. It's, it's too bad, though, that we'll never get to know whether this little one got the crazy gene, too. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Come on, Blair, no time like the present. I don't know why I hate you so much. <laughs> More than anyone on the planet? <coughs> 
gas is getting to you. I'll give you five million reasons. Five million dollars you took to steal my little girl. That's why, huh? That's why. That's why. I was laid in a hospital bed. Yeah. And Todd had no way of knowing if you'd recover. Your baby had no mother, and if Dorian had her say, she'd have no father either. I did what I thought was best for everyone involved. And you, you did what was best for you. Fine. What else? What huh? Else? What else? Yeah, what else? As if stealing my daughter wasn't enough. Come on, that's ancient history. Oh. It's like somebody who's never had their child ripped. At least I'm telling the truth. Which is more than I can say for you. Did we forget to tell Bo anything? Well, I don't know. He's heard the same information at least three times. Should we take Jessica out of here? Yeah. Honey, let's go downstairs. There she was sleeping. I came in and, and she was gone. Maybe they will find her. I promise. So her blanket's promise. here. Her toys are here. But where is she, Mom? Where is she? What happened to her? Do you really believe Kyle took Chloe? He's been blackmailing us. I know, but to kidnap a baby, I mean, that involves a lot more people and the police. Jared, he is desperate. He needs money. Oh my God. What if Kyle took her? That's great. Good. Okay, let me know. Did you find anything? I called in a kidnapping. We alerted the FBI. What does that mean? Well, it means that Bo has more resources at his disposal now. That's right. The more people that know, the better our chance of finding Chloe. But it's not Chloe that matters. I don't understand. Well, you don't that. know who took her, so how do you know who to look for? But that's our job to figure out, and we will. Now, we're going to find whoever did this. We're going to get Chloe back. Uh, Uncle Bo, Jess, um, we think we might know something about who took Chloe. I see I've stunned you both speechless. What are you going to do to her? You don't want anything to happen to this baby? No. I think Star probably felt the same way, but you didn't care about that. Not as long as you could solve all your problems, start a ready-made family with Marty. Please just leave her alone. This baby was your final chance for redemption, but then she died, and you blamed yourself? We're not talking about me. You lost everything when your daughter lost this baby. But now she's back. It's Some people might say it's miraculous. Almost as much as Todd Manning getting a second chance. What do you want? I want you to redeem yourself. How? Simple. Give this child back to her mother. Are you serious? It'll make everything right. You can put this baby back in your daughter's arms. Here she is, Todd. Should I let you have her? Mm. I think the gas is getting to me because I think I actually heard you accuse me of lying. I did. Have I why I hate you so much, I don't think so. Oh, your <laughs> kids, that's always your excuse. Oh, I think that's enough, don't you? <laughs> your children, it's your built-in default answer to everything. I mean, what? why Why just save Todd's life? Why? Because he's, because he's the father of your children. Why, why are you staying with him while you recuperate? Because you want to be with your kids. Why are you angry with me because I'm sleeping with him? Because you're convinced that somehow that caused you to, to lose custody of them again. I think that just about <laughs> sums it up, oh, Taya. Don't kid a kidder. Blair... You and I both know the truth. Really? Yeah. Why don't you enlighten me? Okay. I will enlighten you. You're jealous of you? My relationship with Todd. <sighs> untie me. How untie me so I can take her? You didn't really think I was going to give your granddaughter back to you, did you? I thought you wanted me to redeem myself. That's what you thought you were doing, isn't it? 
running away with Marty and this baby, your new family, they didn't remember the past. It's like it never happened. But it did happen. Right here in this room. You had the power then. You told me what to do to Marty, and I listened. And I lost everything. My freedom, my sanity, my life, because of you. But now I've got the power, Todd. Right here. In this little girl. Just give it to me. She was going to be your salvation, Todd, but... She's gonna be mine instead. Please don't hurt her. I have the power now, Todd. Oh. Right here in my arms. <sighs> I told you I'm not the killer. Would I be calling you on the LPD private line if I was? Listen, I just want to speak to Officer Fish. Call him. Call the commissioner. Call whoever the hell you like. Just make the damn call. What do you mean you might know something? You know who took my baby? Okay, we're not talking. Why sure. didn't you say something? It, it, we just thought that in case it was a, a false alarm. My baby's missing! Is this what you were going to tell me before I found out that Chloe was missing? Oh, no, 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 no. Are you involved? No. Sweetheart. No, Natalie. What do you know? Okay, at the hospital, we, we ran into this guy, Kyle Lewis. The lab tech? You know him. Yeah, yeah, what does he have to do with it? You think he took my baby? We don't know. It's just that... It, it's really complicated. It's complicated? You need to stand there and say it's complicated? Beth, listen to me. No! You listen to me. Who is this guy and why would he take my baby? Why aren't you telling me? Woo! Sweet explosion, dude. Yeah, I guess. How'd you know where the trigger was? My dad bought a book for me. Oh, yeah? I figured we could all use a snack. What do you say? Cookie break? Sure. I know. Jack, I really think you should show Cole your awesome dunking skills. He can get three cookies in one class. It's pretty amazing. Star, I'm sorry I lied to you on the phone. You were looking out for mom and dad. But if I told you, maybe you could help them. Or maybe Rebecca and Powell would have hurt them. You think? Now, Jack, it would have been real easy for you to tell Star that you needed help. And you did the brave thing. Really? Really. You are you are the hero. Because of you, our parents are going to be okay. You really mean that? I really do. You're a good son and a great brother. The best. You're right, pal. I did have all the power back then. You admit it? Yes, and I used it to control you. And I ruined your life. So what? You think that's gonna save you? No, nothing can save me now. Just like nothing can save you or Zach. We only did it because of you. Right. So punish me. Do whatever you want to me, but leave that baby alone, please. <laughs> yeah, honey. I don't believe you. What? Not that I don't enjoy hearing you beg, but there's something about the way you're saying it. I just, I don't buy it. Powell? Damn it, don't do this. Don't do it like this. Don't use Marty. Or Blair, or Taya, or that child to get back at me. You're right, Todd. I can't save you. Nobody can be saved. Th that's not true. Y you saved me. What do you mean? Isn't that what you were trying to do all those years ago, Powell? You were trying to save me? Isn't that what you're trying Stop to do right it. now? Stop it, Marty. This is between Todd and me. I, I know that. I know that. And he made you hurt me back then, but you fixed it now. You fixed it. You saved me. I hurt you. I can't save you. You already did. You already did. I got my memory back. All of it. And it would never have happened without you. 
Why would I be jealous of your relationship with Todd? Same reason you're jealous of anyone's relationship with Todd. Look at how much you hate Marty. Oh, you have no idea why I hate Marty. Well, I know it's not because she's with John. No, because I'm with John. I am with John. Mm -hmm. And if I were so into Todd, why? Why would I marry John? Well, we both know the answer to that no, question. We don't. Why yes, don't you because and me? Uh, well, I'm trying to because he gave you marrying him gave you custody of your children. Okay, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'll give you that one. Yeah, I'm with John because think. of my kids. It was my idea. No, wasn't you know, it, I'm not going to give you that <laughs> because I was with John way before we got married. Hmm. And I care a great deal about that man. Keep telling yourself that. It makes things a lot easier. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Well, you said it yourself. John, John's going to come save us, Blair, right? Yeah, so? Uh-huh. So, tell me something. Would you rather go home with someone honest, dependable, and trustworthy? Or with the guy who got us into the situation in the first place? Well, I think you're finally catching on. The only problem is... You may have feelings for John, but you don't love him. At least not the same way you love Todd. You can't stop us, John McBain. Powell and I have come too far to turn back now. But you wish you'd just stayed out of it. Don't worry. I'm gonna make sure that you do. <laughs> You're not sure that Kyle took Chloe. Why do you think he took my baby? Um, we ran into him at the hospital. We were there to get Chloe her shots, and... And, and um, and he just, he seemed really interested. Interested how? He just asked a lot of questions. Yeah, too many. Why aren't you crying? What's wrong? Are you okay? Excuse me. You can't. Why was Kyle asking questions about Chloe? We don't know. You guys know something. Something you're not telling me. Why do you think this guy kidnapped my baby? Kyle Lewis was just arrested at Manning's Does house. Does he have my baby? No, I'm sorry. What does Manning have to do with any of this? I don't know, but my guys are bringing Lewis in right now. Okay, I'm going to. No, Mom, darling, that's not a good idea. I have to see him. We'll be right behind you. I'll meet you at the station. Okay. Uh, would you two mind staying here, please, in case Chloe turns up? Vicky, Thank my you. car's in the driveway. You can ride with me. Wait! Wait. Who are any of you? Go anywhere. Um, we have to talk to you. About Chloe. So you guys went to the prom tonight? Yeah, we did. I thought Cole wasn't your boyfriend anymore. I'm not. Then why'd you go to the prom together? Well, when you've been through what Star and I have been through... You just always have a connection. I am never going to a prom. You might change your mind about that. No way. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get some more cookies. Oh, no, I think that's all we have left. You didn't check that sneaky place, did you? He bought a ton. He even has... Chocolate chilies? Uh-huh. Yes. I'll go get them. <laughs> Star? Yeah? Come here. What's up? On the phone, when I said I love you, I really meant that part. I know, Jack. I love you, too. It's okay, Blair. You can admit it. You still have feelings for Tom. No, I don't. I won't tell anyone. God. We're dying here without our spreads. Well, we might as well be. We're both in the same boat. Everything Powell said was true. So what? You wanted to kill Tom. Yeah, the thought did cross my mind once or twice. You wanted to get back at him for all the things that he did to you? No. I just wanted to get him out of my head. 
You are a glutton for punishment. <laughs> you are correct. He's put me through hell, and I keep coming back for more. Yeah. You want to stop? You just... But I can't. Yeah. This is the truth is. No matter if I'm dead. Todd Manning is... Was... And will always be... The love of my life. It's true, pal. I remembered everything tonight, and it's all because of you. Me? Yes. You brought me here. And seeing all of this, it, it triggered something. You remembered what we did to you in this room? Not just that. I remembered everything. My whole life came back to me. All of it. My son. You gave that back to me. And for that, I... I thank you. I never meant to hurt you. I know. For so long, I've been wanting to make it up to you. I'd do anything for you. Well, then, anything. Okay. Okay, then. Give me back the baby. Please give me the baby. Powell, listen to me. You want to make it up to me? You want to make it up to me? You can do it right now. You gave me back my life. Let me share it with this baby, please. Let me have the baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know, I know. And it's okay now. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. 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 I'm just taking this for you. No, I no. can't. Be I know happy. you did. You can't be happy about anything. Not about this. Not about anything. You can't stop this. No, I won't let you. You want to talk about Chloe now? That your sister is not here? I have to um, tell you something. Okay, what happened at the hospital? Why was Kyle asking all the questions about Chloe? He wasn't. What? You just said that he was. That wasn't the truth. What the hell is going on here? Natalie, your sister's baby is missing. You don't think I don't know that? This isn't Natalie's fault. Okay, okay. Why couldn't you tell the truth before? We couldn't. No, because Jessica was here. Wh why couldn't Because we're terrified you? what the truth will do to her. Jared, what is the truth? Kyle Lewis was blackmailing us. Blackmailing you? About what? Chloe. He has proof that she's not Jessica's daughter. Well, Father, that's a promise. Right, whatever this is, we're going to figure it out. We're going to get your baby back. Don't worry. Jess knows exactly what to do. And the timing couldn't be more perfect. Jessica, what is it? What's wrong?
something else. I'm a blonde, a natural blonde. No, I'm serious. I'm serious, Blair. There is something I haven't told anyone else in the world. And if we're gonna die here right now, I need to tell you. Put the knife down, pal. It's over. It'll never be over. No, you ended it. You just did the right thing. Why do you get to decide what's right? But you've made up for everything you did all those years ago. Oh, and you get to run off and live happily ever after with Marty, with your grandchild? No. You don't get to be happy about anything. Not about Marty, not about the baby, nothing! Hell no! You're right. It's over.